Hey, my name is Valeri. I'm one of the co-founders of StoryChief, and I'm thrilled you've decided to check out our product today. So we've built StoryChief originally because we believe that content marketing can make a huge change for your organization if done properly. The problem is that the processes around collaboration, distribution, and metrics are decentralized in most companies, making the process very tiring and tedious. For example, uh, sending Word documents and screenshots or Google Doc links back and forth through email, copy-pasting everything in multiple backends, using different tools to optimize content for search engines, not having to adapt the content, you know, not having time to adapt the content to all the different social channels and so on. So eventually, you will end up in a mess if you will keep doing so. Well, Story Chief creates a layer of user-friendly awesomeness on top of all your channels and makes content creation, collaboration, and distribution a motivating experience. So here are the 10 tips on how to use Story Chief. Let's check it out. Let's talk about the basics first. So with Story Chief, you can collaborate on articles, social posts, and messages for your employees to create a word of mouth effect for your brand. It usually replaces four to six different tools and keeps everything centralized. StoryChief connects to any CMS, whether it's WordPress, Drupal, Shopify, or Webflow. Our API is also publicly available, so you can connect your custom-built website as well. With StoryChief, you can work in campaigns or topics, which bundle multiple formats on multiple channels, so you can measure the results on a topic level. For example, we create a topic called Remote Work. So on day one, I'll publish a full-blown SEO-optimized blog post about seven ways to stay productive while working at home. On day two, I'll post a video about my home setup on LinkedIn. On day three, we'll post an infographic made out of the blog post on Facebook, then a quote from that post on Twitter, and so on. So you can have multiple campaigns running simultaneously and scale the best performing topic after checking the results on the topic level. There is a content calendar as well, where you can see what is scheduled and published or what your colleagues are working on right now. But you can also create content briefs and assign them to your team right from the calendar. Story Chief users can have multiple roles assigned, publisher, writer, or a guest writer. Guest writers have only access to the stories they were assigned to. They don't have publishing rights, and can't access uh, you know, other parts or features inside your account. And writers have access to everything, but can't publish themselves. While collaborating, you can send your copy or social post previews to people outside of your story account. They can leave some feedback and mark your content as approved as well. On the overview page of all your drafts, you'll be able to see which content can be published and which content is still in review and by whom. When creating articles, it's very important to rank high in search engines. As your assessment tool within StoryChief can help to achieve that. So non-technical copywriters can deliver copy that is SEO ready right while they're at the creation stage. Once ready, just select their channels and hit publish. You can connect multiple websites to one account, but only one of them will be the primary channel which will be indexed. You can select the primary channel each time you publish something. This way you will avoid the duplicated content issue and the canonical URLs will be set up automatically and correctly. So publishing your article includes two steps. First, you want to publish your article to your website, including it uh, you know, in your newsletters and creating an email which will trigger your ambassadors to create their own social posts promoting your article's link. An optional one is, by the way, is to create a Google AMP version or Facebook Instant Article version of your article so you can rank higher and open your article quicker on smartphones. Second step is creating a series of social posts that will help you drive traffic through social media and automatically sharing an auto-generated landing page with your colleagues or ambassadors where they can engage uh, you know, on all the social posts you've just made. At the story overview page, you can see all your articles in different orders or segments. Check the status, approval status, you know, sort on best performing content pieces, or create segments to find content easily. A great tool to stay on top of what's going on. So here I have a segment created and I can check what social posts are leading to that story. But also I can generate a report showing the overall traffic 
the amount of leads and a breakdown of traffic per channel. You can even see who of your ambassadors did actually share that content piece on their own social network. In the insights panel, uh, you can see the performance of all your social channels over time. There's a lot more to explore in terms of integrations and automation flow, but that's for later. So now it's time to create your first story. Grab one of our templates you can find in the calendar and start generating that rent awareness. Good luck and have fun.